Hello, Hasklings. Well, it's time to do the advent of code. This is day one. And as you can see, uh, there's a bit of a description about uh, what the activity is that we have to do. So as usual, we're collecting stars, but the story is a little bit different this year. So the stars are some sort of currency on your holiday destination. All right, on with the puzzle. So the puzzle this, this time is to find the two entries that sum to 2020 amongst the input. So the input looks like it's going to be a, a nine separated list of integers and we need to find the two integers that sum to 2020 and then we have to multiply those two together and that product is then our final answer. So in the example is 1721 and 299 that they add up to 2020 and when multiplied together is the answer. All right, so on the right of the screen now uh, is a little program that will remake our file. Uh, it's called Watcher. I've checked it in. Um, go check it out if you have if you have some time. Uh, anyway, so we're going to start by importing a prelude because we don't implicitly import it. That, that was one of the flags we had uh, for in our make file for compiling the GH thing. All right, let's have a quick look at the input file and it looks like the input list is 200 lines long. So it's a bit longer than the example input. So we're gonna use this function interact. And interact is actually a very easy way for us to uh, create interactive programs. However, it's not particularly useful outside these sort of puzzles. So it's not very common in general high school code. So we're going to use it here to turn a string to string function into an IO function, which is what main expects. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a function f and we have a function read and we're going to say to Haskell that that read should take in a string and output an integer and then lines will split up the uh, the input into lines and yeah I just forgot to put the map there so we map read across all of the lines and we get out a list of integers so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through that list one by one so uh, the list, the, this function f will take a list of integers and we want to return, well, interact expects us to return a string. But what I'm going to do is actually return an int and then I'm going to do a show on that output. And then I'm also going to add a carriage return after that. Okay, great. So uh, just to test out, let's see if we can output just the integer 2020 and that has worked great okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the input one by one and we're going to test to see if 2020 minus x is in the list x's which is the rest of the list so this is a feature of haskell called pattern matching where we can say uh, that if we have a list as input, we can separate the first one from the rest. So we use this lm function to test whether 2020 minus x is in the list x's. And if it is, then we're going to multiply those two together. Otherwise, we uh, use recursion to test the rest of the list. And this should be our answer then. So. Let's try that out. And it looks like it is. So as is usual, there's a second part and it looks like we have to find three numbers in our list of integers that add up to 2020. And then we multiply those three together to get our answer. 
all right, well, let's have a go at this. We've already got a function f that can that can find out if uh, two uh, if two numbers add up to a certain other number. So let's let's keep that for now, and we'll create a new function f dash, and f dash is going to call f. So f dash will also have the same type signature. And let's just test to see if that works. We say f dash equals f, and yep, okay, we're still compiling. So we can again test each integer in f dash to see if it's going to work. And we're going to generalize this f function to test to see if we can find two numbers that sum to n rather than 2020. So then we can uh, also return a maybe int, which, uh, which says that wh whether we've found a number or not. So if we did find a number, then we return a just value. And if we didn't find a number, then we actually get to the empty list case, which we actually ignored before. Uh, and if we have an empty list, we just return nothing to say we didn't find a pair of integers that add up to that number n. And let's just test that. Oh, yes, we, we need to add that. And we've also forgotten the n as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're still compiling. All right. So we're going to call f with x minus, uh, sorry, 2020 minus x, and then x's. Uh, we're not quite done yet, though, because that's just testing if the first one has, uh, has that such a value. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this off based on what we get back from f, and if we get nothing, what we're going to do is use recursion to test the rest of the list. Otherwise, we've actually found the triplet of numbers we're looking for. So y here is actually already the multiplication of the two other numbers as a result of the call to f. And we simply multiply the product returned by f with x to return the answer. And that's an int, not a maybe int. So that should be our answer, and let's submit that to test it, and we have our second gold star. Fantastic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed day one as much as I have. Happy Haskelling, and see you tomorrow.